News 2 Sports presents Hot Hook and Cook. It's that time once again where we get the chance to showcase all that South Carolina has to offer. And being so close to the sea, the Low Country is a premier spot for some hunting, fishing, and good eats. And that's why for our next stop for Hunt, Hook, and Cook, I thought we'd hit the water, cast out with Redfin Charter. Another beautiful day out here at Bristol Marina as once again we have ourselves another episode of Hunt, Hook, and Cook. Last week we were cooking it up, now this time we're going to be out here fishing once again. I'm joined by Captain Austin Daniel, and Austin just kind of tell me, what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to run out until about 37 feet, 10 miles off the coast, and jig up a few black sea bass, see what else eats, maybe some sheep's head at the end of the day, but stick mostly on the black sea bass. Perfect. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's get on out there. Oh man, if this is like a shoe or a tire, I'm going to be highly upset. Well, we've been fishing for a little while and just kind of tell us, you know, what we've got here and the proper measurement for this black sea bass. So we're out here about 40 feet deep, uh, 10 miles off the coast of Charleston, and these black sea bass have to be 13 inches to keep. And we have a check it stick here and we see that he is about 13 and a half. So this guy's going to be perfect size for a whole fraud or him in the box. And just kind of tell me, you know, when we're fishing for them, what are we using to kind of make sure they bite? Well, we're using these ounce, ounce and a half vertical jigs. Um, color doesn't really matter. These fish are so aggressive, they will go for anything. So uh, that live bait works, but jigging makes it more fun. Perfect. Well, thank you so much again. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll have another episode of Hunt, Hook, and Cook next week. We'll see you then.